Today we're checking out the brand new U2's FNAF plushies and being the first on all of YouTube to review them. How's it going fellers? And as you can see, my U2's packages have come in much earlier than usual, which nice. is very exciting because that means you're going to be seeing these brand new plushies first here on the channel. Did U2 ship with Amazon Prime or what? Now it's brilliant that these got to me so quickly, but thank you very much U2's. So, this is the set with Mangle, Circus Baby, Ennard, Glitchtrap, and Helpy. So, a very, very solid cast of characters indeed, with lots of variety and really great plushies. But let's just see how the plushies are in person. Gonna try to rip into this bag nice and carefully, because it's got that awesome U2's vibe to it. And we can't quite make out who's in each of them, so leave down in the comments below. We're gonna play some guessing games and try and guess who's inside here. For the first one here... I, I can feel, well, I'm not going to feel, actually. We'll just bet. I'll bet Circus Baby. Who have we got? <gasps> oh, we've got Ennard. So here's the brand new Ennard plushie from U2s. And again, looking wonderful in this brilliant U2s packaging. And hey, look, it's my favorite Ennard quote. Hi. Let's get straight into this bad boy. Nice and carefully on this brilliant bag here. All right, with a little bit of haggling, we got it done here, and ba bam here we've got the brand new U2's Ennard. This is another addition to the chibi line of plushies, which they've done a couple of previous sets to. First thing I'm noticing is, look how much bigger than usual Ennard is. Yeah, Ennard, kick his ass! <laughs> So now let's dig deep into this Ennard plushie and see if he is the best Ennard plushie or not. Up top is his iconic party hat, adding a little bit of life and color to his otherwise totally bald egghead. Now I'm unfortunately already noticing some issues with this hat here. It looks pretty nice I guess, but it's severely understuffed, entirely printed pretty much, and also it's kind of more on top when it should be more over to the left here. So unfortunately, not the best first impressions here with a party hat, because you got to keep in mind these are $30 plushies. That's the same price as Sanchi and three times the price of Funko plushies. So we're looking quality here, but when we look onto the face, let's see if things get better. I think it's safe to say that they definitely do, because I think this is the best Enter plush face we've ever gotten. All of your inner details are there, apart from the additional faceplate going this way, but I can see why they didn't include that, because it'd make it look more complicated. There's just a lot of things going for the face here that I think makes the plush look really, really nice. One of the things I really appreciate are all of the black outlines. You see them around the eyes, the mouth, and the eyebrows. I just think it makes it have such a more crisp look. And you can see the face is much higher quality. Everything is fully embroidered. Something I really like is the eye detail here. This looks really good. It's got a neat little plastic red nose there, giving him that clown look. And his mouth here as well, which is just a signature smile as opposed to all those dangly innards sprawling out there like a bunch of spaghetti. But I suppose that's just to make him look cuter because these are like going in with that whole chibi feel. For the body, as you can see, that's where it gets that real chibi look from. And I'm kind of conflicted on the body here. On one hand, it is entirely printed. I guess I do understand it here because look at how much of a complex character Ennard is. And I appreciate all the details they did put on here despite the fact they're printed because realistically, how could you put these on normally? That would be a nightmare. Though it would have been neat to have some little details be physical to give us a little break from the printing overload here. Like maybe the button, but overall, it's not too bad. Couldn't help but notice as well, though, this looks very, very light. Almost like the Funko Prototype plush. And now here he is from the back. Now, a really big detail that they have obviously missed out on is the fact that Ennard's face here, his mask, it's just a face mask. This entire back piece is meant to just be his endo. But as you can see here, they've just made it entirely white. But hey, maybe that is for the better because if it was an actual endo face, we all know it would have been a lot of printing again. And here's his neat little tags. I always love the little holographic illustrations on. These tags are awesome. And inside, thanks for collecting me, kid. So there we have entered. Let's move on to the next one. So pick your bets in the comments below. I'll go ahead and throw in Glitch Trap next would be a great one. That was probably the one, one of the ones I'm more excited for in the way of, let's see. Oh, we have Circus Baby, the other SL character from the drop. Same bag per usual. Let's make this a little quicker, shall we? 
That's more like it. And bam. Damn, is she small or not? Honestly, I really like the stylization of this circus baby plush. It just gives off that chibi vibe really, really well. Appreciate all the black outlines going around the hair here, but unfortunately, this bit here is printed. It even is the same on the pigtails here as well, which is unfortunate. Facial details done really well here. I can just full of embroidery and pretty nice quality. Noticing as well, very unique material for the nose here. I've never seen for any other FNAF plushie. But unfortunately, as you can see, it's very prone to picking up particles. You can already see bits of dirt on it right out the packaging. Just a few things I would suggest that would have made the face better. Again, even just having one face plate to keep it consistent with Ennard here. I would have also think it would have been cool to have the little, just little lines going through to create the little tiny razor sharp teeth. But my biggest gripe here, which is actually bugging me quite a bit, are the eyes. I'm not sure why they're hollow black. When I think of baby, one of the first things I think of are the big bright green eyes. And it's just a shame that they didn't replicate it here. It would have looked so much better, honestly. It's, uh, the body here, again, is filled with printing. At least they've got all the details on here. Like, of course, the iconic fan, which becomes scooping mechanism. The skirt here as well. Little shoulder pieces. And the clown shoes, too. And again, here's a back shot. Not bad at all. And last but not least, I can tell you that it's going to be glitch trap Because Mangle, uh, this is a flat package. Mangle has a much more... Kind of outwards design it will be a much different package when i get it unfortunately mango's not here i'm sure if you noticed from the start there's only three and i actually did skip out on the helpy i might get him eventually if i find him but hey glitch drop anyways probably one of my favorites in the world oh yeah definitely i gotta say though from the looks of things mangle is definitely the best the glitch trap definitely up there because we've never got an official glitch trap plushie before so this is super exciting fill in the blanks with the official glitch trap plushie and honestly, I really love this guy. First thing I'm noticing as well, up in the top of the ears, they do look really good, honestly. I love the way they've done their... I love the way they do their bonnie ears, the way they flap down like that. It's really neat. It's done really well. There's little pieces in here so you can adjust them, which is awesome. Even got little stitch marks on there too. Awesome attention to detail. Must I say as well... We're moving on to the face here. I honestly really like these colors they've done a lot. I think it pretty much spot on captures Glitch Trap. And honestly, this face looks almost spot on. It's cheapified so perfectly that I still see every ounce of glitch trap in there. It's lots of great quality in here. Just all nice embroidered details. But I'm noticing though, unfortunately, you've got a bit of a downside to the material. Is that this entire material is just printed. You can especially see it where the sews are. Nice, they got the eyes right. Really the only thing I would have suggested for the face here. Well, obviously it would have been neat if the material would give it a softer feel. Uh, but I wish the... The snout here went out a bit more. He feels a little a little too flat, almost like he was just compressed. Body here looks almost spot on. It's really just the fact that the entire detailing here is printed. Same with here. But thankfully, Glitch Trap isn't quite as detailed as those SL ones over there are. So it wasn't as hard of a job for them to do. I appreciate all the stitches being there really nice. And the waistcoat going all the way. However, the back piece for the waistcoat here is indeed printed. But there's nice little star details on and there you have it for some of the brand new U2's FNAF plushies. I'm still waiting on Mangle. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to do a separate solo review for Mangle when it arrives. Because honestly, it's so good it is worthy of its own review. But hey, maybe it's not so good in person. We'll have to see. But yep, um, I'm still <laughs> flabbergasted of how big Android is here. But yeah, let me know in the comments which one is your favorite of these three. And I'll see you all next time.